Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Terry and if you are new here, I am a registered behavior technician in the state of Florida. This channel is dedicated to RBTs, BCBAs, and BCABAs um, all over the country, all over the world. I am here because I want to help better our field of applied behavior analysis. I want to educate, I want to help um, and encourage and inspire you guys. So in today's video, I will be finally doing my part two uh, to the session activities that I have done before. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a card up here. You can take a look at that one too. I have so many toys to go over. Um, I, the majority of these things can be found on Amazon. That's where I buy all of my stuff. If for whatever reason there is an activity that's not from Amazon, I will leave the link down there and you can take a look. So let's go ahead and get into it guys because we have a lot to get through. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, it reinforces my behavior of making more videos for you. Thank you. I did make a new Instagram account uh, dedicated specifically to this channel. So if you aren't already, please be sure to follow me on Instagram um, at behavior underscore works. I am planning to do a lot of giveaways on there. I am planning to do a lot of talking to you guys, showing you guys my daily life as an RBT. Um, I've already posted a lot of things on my story. So I really hope that we can connect there too. And it could be a place outside of YouTube that I can connect with you guys on more of a daily basis because obviously on YouTube I post once to two times a week. So uh, first toy, let's see what I have here. So many of these toys are from learning resources. I've gone on a little bit of a tangent on learning resources stuff. I don't know how, but they have really good stuff, very decent prices, and I really enjoy it. The first toy that I have here is from learning resources. Under the seashells word problem activity set. Uh, so basically, you are given, this is to play a maximum of four children at a time, obviously we don't need that many, uh, but you are given these seashells, Sally sold seashells by the seashore, sorry. You are given these seashells, um, and so you give one to your kiddo, and you are also given a whole lot of these guys. You have stars and you have crabs of different colors. And then there are a lot of different math word problems that you are able to read to them and they have to figure it out using both the shells and all of those little critters that I just showed you. So let me give you an example of what one of the cards might say. So it says, two starfish were hiding under the sea clam shell. Seven more starfish crawled under there too. How many starfish are under the shell now? There are different levels. So if they, as they do get better, as they do get older, um, you are able to make it a little bit more difficult for them, but I did it with my girl client uh, Who's six years old and she's going to first grade. She loved it. It was actually very fun Usually some of these things they she can get a little bit, you know Sidetracked and not so into it, but she's actually into this one um, And it's tangible they can you know really think it through by using all of these little critters here So this is a really good activity. It's fairly new for me, but so far so good Okay, next activity I have is called eye tracks, also from learning resources. The only tip that you might consider with these um, is to laminate these because they're paper and you don't want them. I don't know. I always think property destruction or anything like that. So basically, you give them, uh, you give your kiddo one of these boards. Now there are different levels. They have different levels. So this one is uh, Brainiac. They all have Ace, which is the easiest level. And there's also one more. Whiz. So this is actually the hardest one. And let's just do an ace one. Okay, here we go. And they are front and back. So basically with this activity, you are looking for a track, right? So the track has to have squares at the end and at the beginning of the track. And that's how you know that that is the track. So there's a lot of things here to try to try and confuse you. So let me see if I can find the dang track. <laughs> okay, so here it is. So here is the blue one and if you follow it, you end up here at the green square, right? So this is a track. If you notice, the other ones only have like one square at the end or might have no squares. So then they're expected to recreate the track. And uh, what's also pretty cool about it is that they do not have to add all of these little side things. 
Um, it's just the main track that they are expected to create. So I've been doing these this with the girls too. I say girls all the time, guys, because um, there my client has a twin sister who also receives services. So sometimes we do collaborate together and we'll work together like as a group, which is really where most of the help is needed because they do tend to, you know, they can get a little feisty with one another. So we try to encourage sharing and things like that. So that's why we work together. Basically the girls have been really enjoying this. It's fun, it's different. You know, it's a little hard maybe with the lengths and stuff, but they can always refer back to the card and try to figure out the different lengths and all that. But um, this is a good one. Okay, the next activity I have also from Learning Resources is called Vowel Owl Sorting Set. Super cool activity, love this, and so cute. So essentially you have these different owls. They look like this, they're little cups. Um, one has A, E, I, O, U. The yellow one um, is blank uh, for Y in some cases. What's super cool about this is that you can play it different ways. So there is a um, instruction somewhere, somewhere, on different ways that you can play this. But you are given a hundred different cards um, that might have like a kite or a bike or an, a can. One of the games you can play. They are expected to take the card, let's say it's bike, and they are to put it into um, the green owl bike because that's the vowel that they hear, vowel, owl, get it. For um, extra little bit amount of pressure, I do sometimes put the timer on so that they feel like they're racing to get it done before the timer goes off. And at the end, we go through it and I will then explain to them, you know, what is correct, what's incorrect, why, um, and they've gotten a lot better. They've gotten the hang of it and they're learning, which is what we want here at the end of the day, right? 1010, highly recommend. Okay, I'm just not realizing that like 90% of the stuff is from learning resources, no big deal, but. Whatever. This is also a fairly new activity that I've gotten and I love it. You can use it as it's supposed to be, like intended to, which, which is by, uh, let me just show you, shall I? Hold on. You are given a whole lot of these guys. So you have these balls here and different things to connect. You can make, see, 2D shapes, combining shapes, you know, all these things. The cool thing though that I liked and that my girls liked and get more advanced for those that are more advanced are, here you go, are creating 3D shapes. So it tells them how many of each piece they need and um, they are able to make it. So these can get a little bit difficult and with our girls, they were doing the 3D shapes and uh, you know, it got frustrating when they didn't know what to do or uh, how to do it. So tantrum started and we would work through it, through it with them uh, from there, but this is a really good activity. Not that I want them to be frustrated and get upset, but you know, that's life and we have to work through it. And how can we find a better way to work through it instead of crying and getting upset, right? So this is a good one. I've had it for a very short amount of time, but it's already starting to show its uh, potential here. Okay, the next thing that I have are these games called Pop. Learning resources, super inexpensive. They're 10 bucks each and they're you know, fun way to learn and um, work with your kiddos. So let's work with this one first. So pop uh, for blends game. Inside this are a bunch of cards that look like little popcorns, little pieces of popcorns. And let me pick one. Okay, so ch. So I would spin this guy and have to make, let's say two, it's on two, right? I would have to make two different words uh, with ch. So I could say cheese and chew um, as two different words, and then you would give it to the partner next. So we do this with the twin girls. Uh, they take turns doing this, or you could do it together, right? You take a turn and then they, your client takes a turn and you continue. This is a little hard, not gonna lie, but it's cool because you know, the, the game isn't always about winning. You don't have to win every time. We wanna learn. And with the girls, they do, they, as they've been playing, they have been remembering more words um, and putting the pieces together, so it's fine. Uh, another thing about this game that you can or cannot do, uh, one, you if you pick the word pop um, in here by accident, let's say it's like, okay, let me pick one. Oh, I got pop. You have to put back your popcorns inside again, so you lose, that's, I guess, how you would lose. But super fun, easy game. This is the blends one, and then the purple one that I have, 
is word families. So same concept here. So I would say come for this one because that's, you know, it's obvious to us. And the girls have been doing really good. So this one I could say bail or veil. Um, just have to find the endings. And of course there are the few pieces in here that are hot. But 10 bucks and you get a whole activity for it? Yeah, any day. Next up. Little Lemonade Standoff. If this game is anything, it is super cute. It's a memory matching game. So it each player gets their own little lemonade stand, which is a little bit distracting at times for the girls. I'm gonna be honest with you because it's so cute that all they wanna do is like pretend like that they're selling lemonade when it's not their turn. It's just like trying to get them back on task is interesting. <laughs> but uh, so these are the little lemonade stands, you see? They have different colors. There's a total of four of them. Essentially how this game is played is they are to pick a card. You can give them however long you'd like. You know, there are actual rules, but you guys can play this however you like, you know, make it easier or harder for your own client, you know them and how they work. But we give them like five to 10 seconds to take a look at this. And then they are to recreate the same thing by using the pieces that come with the game. It's a little blue thing here, the tray. This is it right here. And then you are also given your little cups of lemonade, which are these guys right here. Like how cute is this game? It is so cute and distracting me too. I, I mean, can I really blame them for getting distracted? I don't know. Sometimes what gets tricky with this is that sometimes the lemonade cups do or do not have the caps. So see the cap right here? Uh, so here, that they would have to remember if the cap is there or if it's not there. But it's super cute game, fun to play, and a great activity to pass the time. For those of you that always ask me, you know, like, what do you do for five hours? Guys, I do all of these things, and this is what keeps us going, keeps us busy. I run my programs with them, but that doesn't take the entire five hours. So I need to keep working with them on whatever it is that they may, that they may need. These are the things, guys go out and get them. It's an investment for sure, but it's gonna make your life easier. It's gonna make your work better for you and more fun, so. Okay, the next activity I have is called Color Cute. Inexpensive, easy, and fun. This kind of reminds me of the dominoes a little bit. You get these cards. So every player is given uh, five to eight cards, and then you set one card down, and you are to start matching. Uh, with colors and someone does need to keep track of all of the points that you know each player gets and you get a point by matching different colors uh, the more colors in one group that you get per card the more points that you accumulate I'm not sure if that sounds like very difficult but it's not difficult I think the first day you might need a second to process where you're like how to count the how to count all the colors and the points but it's really easy and it also comes with instructions obviously <laughs> so it's super fun very similar to dominoes and great way to pass the time this game could take us up to 20 25 minutes uh to play and they do some critical thinking on what their next move is going to be if they want to get more points right so that's color cute ladies and gentlemen okay so the next activity i have is called the time activity set and it is a great way to try and teach your kiddos how to tell time. I hope that's not a lost art yet. I know a lot of us just look at our phones, digital, but we should probably still try to teach them how to look at an old, old fashioned clock. It does come with this cute little clock. This little kit here comes with a lot of different activities that you can do with time. One of the activities is a puzzle. So you break these guys up and they are to find the time and you know, try to find this time and connect it with the actual time, so it's one o'clock. Uh, you can also have them write down, uh, you know, their own hands and try to figure out what time it was that they created. And you are also given um, some dice. They roll the dice, see the time that they have created, and then put it onto the clock. We're also given another little clock here that you can use with a dry erase marker. And you guys always remember, you can make your own little activities out of this too, you know? Adapt them to your client. You don't have to follow the rules word by word. I adapt, I adapt them 
to my client. I know what is too difficult to what is too easy. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to stop right there. I do have more things, I promise you. I do have more stuff. I can make a part three if you guys are interested. I don't wanna make this video too long. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and give me your thoughts on these toys. What do you guys think? Is this something you could see yourself using for your kiddos? I know that I went over a lot that might be for those kiddos that are more advanced. If you want something a little bit easier, you could try and check out my other video. I have um, easier activities there. I love what I do, guys. I love what I do. And these things make me happy because it makes them happy and I have things to do with them. So whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! What a wonderful world